Okay, Mike. Mm -hmm. All right, Eric Stomquist, we're just completing the Atlanta Better Business Challenge Expo. I'm here with Aaron Bastian. Aaron, you work with the mayor. Can you tell our viewers a little bit what you do? Because you obviously have set this up. Sure. I am the communications and project manager for the Mayor's Office of Sustainability here in Atlanta. I manage special projects, write press, deal with the media, and tell them all the great things we're doing here in the city. All right, to all our listeners out there, you heard it. I'm officially media now, so I really appreciate you talking to me for a minute. So, the Better, the better building, Buildings Challenge, talk a bit about that. How did that get started, and, and what are some of the results? So three years ago, the Department of Energy approached Atlanta and asked us to be a pilot city, along with Chicago and Los Angeles. Really plainly, the goal is to reduce energy use and water use in commercial buildings 20% by the year 2020. Our mayor, Mayor Kasim Reed, embraced that challenge, and now three years later, we have exponentially increased our commitments to that challenge, which were originally only at 2 million square feet. Now we have over 400 buildings in the city of Atlanta that have voluntarily committed to reducing energy and water use 20% by 2020. And it's a program we're really proud of. It's a huge success. It really is to get uh, building owners to do this and the results. The mayor spoke a little bit earlier. The results are fantastic. And this event has been a huge success. Thank you. So I applaud you for that. Thank you. Good Thank stuff. You. Good Thank stuff. You. So for cities out there that maybe haven't sorted, don't know where to start, okay? Can you give them a few tips? Sure. So the great thing about the Atlanta program is that we recognize that there are other cities who might want to replicate the successes that we've seen today, or at least today. Uh, we got a lot of calls from other municipalities. Some of them smaller than Atlanta wanted to know what our secret sauce was. And we've actually packaged that in an implementation model that is available on our website. It'll walk you through how we got started with outreach, identifying potential partners, um, the fact that we meet regularly as a steering committee, and we actually engage our utility in private companies like Stromquist to help understand and identify new technologies that building owners can benefit from. So it's an ongoing, ever-evolving process for us, but we have captured it on our website, which is atlantabbc.com. Just look for the implementation model, and check out our annual reports and our case studies of some of the buildings here in Atlanta that have done some great things with technology um, and even behavior-based changes. So thank you. Very, very impressive. Can you give me one last favor? My partner's out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He does the Control Talk Now Smart Buildings podcast. His name is Ken Spires. Could you sign off saying, and here's to the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Ken Spires. And here's to the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Ken Spires. <laughs>